Yo, what's up? Cyberox here. Today is on very, or uh, yeah, no more variable or uh, more functions in C++ uh, tutorial for beginners number four. So let's go ahead and get down to it. If you watched my last one, I went over ints, chars, and doubles. Alright, so today we're just going to go over doubles. Alright, in the next episode we'll go over char. Everybody loves doing char. I've done it and it's like awesome. So let's go and get down to it. Double now, let's come up with a variable name. I'm going to call it dub1. And I'm going to set it equal to 30.9. Okay. Now I'm going to have another double. Name it dub1. Or two, my bad. Set it equal to 60. Point nine. All right. Oh, don't forget to add your semicolons. Um, it can be a pain to forget. I forget it all the time. So let's go ahead and come back in here, and let's rename it to ninety and dub three. Okay. Now let's go ahead and put this out on the program on CMD where it shows you what it is. So let's go and see out. Less than less than. Quotation quotation. And, or actually, no, we're going to keep that. We're going to also add another less than, less than, and then we're going to type in indel. Because right here, we're going to put, um, we're going to make it see out the dub one, two, and three. Right here, we're just going to type in equals, or all of them equal, you know. So what? All right. So in our quotations, we're going to type in dub one plus dub two plus dub three equals we're gonna put a space so it looks good and right in here we're gonna type in dub one plus dub two plus dub three okay and now what this is gonna simply do it's gonna print out on the screen dub1, dub2, and dub3 equal, and it's actually going to show what they equal. It's going to show all these combined. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, see out again. Less than, less than, end, L, and that's it. We're just going to copy that. We're actually going to paste that like two, three times so it looks good. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and execute, pile and run, and we're going to see what happens. Okay, now it popped up, and um, it's actually behind here, so I have to shrink this real quick. Oops. There we go. And as you see, it says dub1 plus dub2 plus dub3 equals 182.7. So that's, uh, you know, that's pretty unique to know. Um, but yeah, so this is um, what they all equal. Now, if we try this... And um, replace the double with int because double and integer don't combine without the proper stuff. Compile and run. We should get something different. Now it gave us a little warning to convert int from double, um, basically saying, you know, hey man, there's something up with this. You know, there's a point in there, so we can't really do this. But it CMD did pop up. And on the bottom, it just says one eight hundred or one eighty. And uh, personal note, I am so amazed that actually worked. But um, anyways, yeah. So it did that. Now, if we go and add double back, and just do this with all of them. And we compile and run it one more time. Shrink this. Bring this back over here. Dub one plus dub two plus dub three equals one eight two point seven. Now with just the regular integer, the point seven would not be there because integer does not do points. It does whole numbers like one eight one eighty two. All right. So, um, but yeah, that's that's basically the difference between integer and doubles. So you know, experiment with this, and uh, again. Uh, as I said in all my other videos, it's best to actually do this code over and over. Try some new stuff, you know. Uh, don't be afraid to experiment. It's not like your computer's going to blow up or anything if you mess up, you know. 
And, uh, you know, it, it, but yeah, don't forget to add your semicolons as well, because uh, for right now, you actually need them on everything we've done typed in. But, um, but yeah, that's the difference between doubles and integers. Um, doubles allow the point, integers don't. Okay, so um, thank you very much for watching Cyber Ronx. Uh, this is probably the shortest tutorial I've ever done with C++. But um, again, uh, thank you for watching. God bless. And as always, have a good day.